So one area that receives very little attention initially in consideration to modifying a school bus into a tiny home or an RV is the door. So if you don't change these doors, the doubles that are on the access side, then you're going to need to go around and climb over the driver's seat every time you want to enter and leave the, the bus locked up. So I suggest that you have a frame welded into the opening and that you have an aluminum uh, door welded up to fit a conventional, for instance, camper style window, something that you can hinge open, uh, slide open and get some um, ventilation with a screen, um, but something that can be uh, locked up and secured as you exit this side of the bus. So consider doing something like that. Not many do. You can take the two doors that come with the bus. You can combine them, lock them together, interlock them, um, and then add um, deadbolts and door locks uh, to those as a quick remedy. I would suggest that you um, solicit the help of someone who welds and have them uh, weld you up a inexpensive steel uh, door jam to receive uh, whatever it is you're doing in this area. Um, but I would definitely consider the modification of these doors to be instrumental and I would uh, try and achieve this early on so that when you're working on your bus, entering and leaving is so much easier uh, and locking up at the end of each shift. So that's my suggestion regarding uh, the doors. Uh, on your school bus um, enhancements. Bye for now. Check out some of our other videos.